But for a believer, even though you have been washed by the blood of the Lamb, the Bible talks about the flesh. With one confession, you are free from sin. But it is not one confession that frees you from flesh. Many believers do not understand these dynamics that you have to be free from the grip of these two things to be able to ascend the mount of God and do mighty things with God. Being free from sin, as wonderful as it is, is the entrance into the kingdom. But there is another major limitation. Are we together? And that when it has to do with the limitation of the flesh, it has nothing to do with being good or bad. It is a limitation that is enshrined in all men. Please, I want you to listen to me. Let it be from the depth of your heart before you become a casualty to yourself. One of the biggest problems that has affected the revivals. Years ago, I preached a message why revivals die. It was a product of a research that I had. I had to study the moves of God and why many of them died. And I found out there was only one reason why revivals die. The humanity of men. Not lack of prayer. Not lack of fasting. No. Not lack of Bible study. Not even lack of going to church. The fact that the careers and the ones who work in partnership with the Holy Spirit to sponsor this revival are men. Listen, when you press to know God, the next project in your spiritual adventure is to know yourself. If you do not pay the price to understand yourself as man, I give you a guarantee you may not arrive. You see, history, the Bible, and history is full of many great people. Some who crashed, did not finish their project. Some of them were voices that were motivations to their generation. And sadly, towards the end of their lives, something just happened that just eroded their testimony of many decades. And let me tell you the truth. I have studied people who have risen and stood and finished to the end. I have studied people who did not even start. I have studied people who started and did well and fell first for my own life and then to be able to unravel this cancer of not finishing strong in the body are we together i can tell you 95 percent of the people who have fallen in history and in the bible are a lot more upright and sincere than many people in our generation yet they did not stand that means we have to learn there is something we need to understand about man. There is a lot of blind, bold face and arrogance that people are communicating in the body of Christ. There, are, there have been sincere people who carry this baton of the faith with integrity and truth. And even with that, some of them did not finish strong. It therefore is a challenge for us to understand what does it take to stand and survive being a light even to the end you may examine many principles you may say they were not anointed and demons came and destroyed them or they were not they didn't understand this those were they can be very valid reasons but one of the greatest reasons is that they do not understand the construct of the fallen man you see when you understand yourself in light of the limitation that is upon all men, it will put pressure on you to need God as a matter of life and death. Your need for God will be artificial until and unless it is derived from this revelation of how incapacitated you are out of the assistance of God. When it has to do with the issue of the flesh, there is no man who sustains by default indefinitely the capacity to survive the varieties of of the what do they call it now the the various chains that the flesh can bring upon an individual please listen very carefully for someone tonight's message will be a lifeline is what you will hold on to that at the end of your life you will stand with strength and with grace 
when Dr. Panam was speaking about this, our dear ones here, and was praying for them, you know what was in my mind? I'm very philosophical in my thinking. I was not even really focusing on the people and him. Number one, I was looking at the age difference. And then number two, I was asking, what did he know? And what did he find that kept him there? Because my goodness, this world, we have seen skilled musicians that did not last six months. Like Orange, they came out with fire and that's it. This race requires a skill. Have you seen people run 100 meters and others don't even know how to stand well. From the first step, they are gone. Others will run to the end. Others in running, they, they've not taken time to master this thing. The flesh is a subject that has been approached from two standpoints. Number one, from a standpoint of avoidance. People refuse to talk about it simply because of the embarrassing situations that are wrapped around the subject of the flesh. When you are dealing with the matters of the flesh, it comes with a lot of embarrassment because it seems to expose man's limitation at its highest. So most people prefer to throw it away and not talk about it. And sadly, some of the teachings that float around the body of Christ today use all kinds of things to just cover it and push it away. Whereas people are dying and they need help and need it fast. Number two, those who approach it from a standpoint that is not scriptural, and all that happens is unraveling the depth of darkness that is shrouded in flesh without proffering a scriptural pathway that leads to victory. Are you seeing the problem now? So there are people who approach the subject of flesh by avoiding it. So we have all kinds of things that are as a result of the flesh with no strategy for victory whatsoever and for others they only end up feeling condemned because they now come into the awareness of the the the, the supposed strength of the flesh on them and then they begin to ask can i really survive will i really survive tonight is a word of hope <laughs>